Okay, so what I've done here is I've uh, suspended the egg with rubber bands, so when it hits the ground, the rubber bands will absorb the shock and prevent the egg from cracking, and it'll work like so. This is a cutaway of the finished cage. It will have a styrofoam box over here to protect the other side of the egg. So let's go see how it works. You can see in this picture that the egg was completely destroyed. I think that when it hit the ground, the rubber bands weren't strong enough to prevent inertia from smashing the egg against the side of the cage. Now I'm going to build a similar version based on what I learned from the egg drop experiment. The new cage will have padding inside and stronger rubber bands. This is my second attempt at the egg drop experiment. Um, the only real changes from the original where I added uh, stronger rubber bands to prevent the egg from being flung into the side of the cage on impact. So let's go try it out. In the picture shown here, you can see that the egg took no damage at all. So it looks like that in my original design, the rubber bands weren't stiff enough to prevent inertia from smashing the egg up against the side of the cage. And by using stiff rubber bands, I was able to successfully drop the cage from 10 feet in the air and prevent the egg from cracking. While doing this experiment, I learned a lot about how gravity acts on falling objects and how inertia affects moving objects. For example, have you ever been sitting in a car and suddenly the car slows down and you are thrown forwards? That's inertia in action. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.